Good morning, everybody. It's the start of day three, right? Correct. Yep. Yeah. So yesterday after our little um, adventure, <laughs> um, and Alex seeing just how good of a backer. Backer you are. Yeah. Very impressive. He, he tested my skills and I passed. We didn't fall <laughs> off the cliff. No. Nope. We ended up at uh, Buffalo Gap National Recreation Area, six dollars a night camping, um, no hookups. <coughs> Excuse me, but um, they did have pit toilets that yeah. were nice. Yeah. Uh, some trails. Yeah, there's some trails there. Uh, it started. It was really windy, yes. and we um, were scrambling to get dinner cooked before the rain started, so we didn't get to do any hiking. But uh, overall, I'd say it was a nice campground. Well, it was quiet. Yeah, it was like fairly quiet. It's by the highway, but the highway really wasn't busy last no. night. No, it wasn't too bad at all. And um, again, for six dollars, easy to get to right off I ninety four. It was clean, yep. and uh, so if you don't need hookups, I believe the national park was fourteen dollars a night. And again, they don't have hookups. But the problem there was, I think it was about an eleven mile drive north right. to get to. We wanted to stay close to the highway, so right. yep. uh, we cooked some dinner new grill worked out yeah right. hamburgers and hot dogs were very good yeah so just a simple meal <laughs> yeah so simple but a good one simple but a good one so so today we are headed to st mary montana which is uh right outside of glacier national park uh, we have a koa reserve for two nights uh you know a lot of you know i don't like doing commercial campgrounds but the national park is full and there's honestly just not much there and we didn't want to risk getting there late this afternoon with no place to stay so we're just going to stay there we're going to need to dump the tanks anyway yeah do a little laundry get caught up so yeah. anyway hopefully we will be there at a decent time and when i say decent time we're shooting for maybe six o'clock tonight so i just want daylight daylight's always a good thing <laughs> all right we're going to just try to knock out some miles here, and we'll check back in with you in a little while. Truman's getting a little loving from Alex. We're on a gas and potty break for Truman. We're in Glasgow, Montana. We're 349 miles. From... He wants to go up to the camera. Truman, you want to say <laughs> hi to everybody? Truman, you want to say hi to everybody? Hey, you're making it hard for me to keep you in the lens. All right. So, 349 miles till we get to our stop. I bet you're excited, aren't you, Truman? Yeah. Yeah, as long as Alex don't take us down any dead-end roads today, we'll be good. <laughs> yeah, that was my choice. Good morning everybody happy father's day it is sunday and we arrived yesterday here at uh, st mary's montana at the koa east glacier we couldn't get anything posted as many of you know because there is no cell service and quite frankly the wi-fi here doesn't work i mean it's just crap so thought i'd come out this morning and show you kind of where we are now you can see in the backgrounds the mountains, but it's pretty cloudy. It rained all day yesterday driving here, and we had to set up in rain. But back behind me, that's Glacier National Park. So we're paying $70 a night with tax, and um, we have a full hookup. We're just here for two nights. Uh, I'm gonna make some breakfast here in a little bit, and then I'm gonna take Alex up to the border and hopefully he's gonna get across with no issues. I'm gonna slowly spin around just so you can get a little bit of a panoramic view of the campground. Really no trees here. You're kind of out in the open. Um, we did see a fox walking through last night in the campground. So the other thing is, and let me spin around and maybe you'll be able to see, I'm not sure if you will, but right back somewhere. Yeah, try to see, just keep my head out of the way. There's a tab, 320. We met the people last night, they're from Virginia. I apologize, I can't remember their names, but uh, if you're watching the video, it was very nice meeting you, and welcome to our channel. 
they're actually headed to where we were supposed to be going up to Banff and then on into Jasper so um, but we stood out in a light rain and talk for a while which was really nice so anyway um, that's the plan then this afternoon Patty and I'll probably go explore Glacier a little bit and then try to figure out where we want to go um, definitely need to try to get back on the grid a little bit because I feel bad I'm not able to communicate with everybody so I'm sure some of you are wondering on Facebook and uh, Instagram where the heck are the McCormick's uh, as far as Truman Truman is doing awesome I tell you that little guy he he lets us know when he has to go, which isn't always easy because we were on a two-lane Montana uh, highway yesterday for, um, I don't know, probably six hours, and there was just no place to pull off. So he starts uh, getting a little um, wiggly, and he starts crying, and that means, Dad, pull over. I got to go potty. But otherwise, he's doing great, and um, so couldn't ask for better. All right, I'm gonna sign off because I need to go in, make breakfast for us, and then we're gonna head up to the border. So, we'll bring you along. I'm making some breakfast, and one of the things I like to use are these little boxed hash brown potatoes. You just add um, hot water to them, let them sit for, I don't know, 15 minutes, and then you can throw them on the grill and have crispy hash browns. We're also gonna use some of these heat and serve sausages and fry up some eggs. Make sure we give Alex a good breakfast before we send him across the board. So how's breakfast, guys? Yummy, really good. Very good. Good? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. not a bad view either. No. Not at all. I think you guys might have a better view. It's starting yeah. to clear out. Starting to clear out. Finished breakfast all cleaned up. Truman's in a mood. You might hear him in the back. <laughs> I think it's about nap time for Truman. So now we are headed north uh, about 30 minutes to the border crossing near Caraway, Alberta, Canada. I think that's what it is. Yeah. So we're going to go scout it out. We're leaving a little early, figure out where we can park and get Alex across the border. Okay, Alex and I just walked into the U.S. border, and the guy was well, less than friendly, right? Yeah. Or just kind of smart ass. Wasn't the kindest man in the world. And I was asking him where Alex should walk, and he's like, why don't you just drive him across? I explained about Truman, and he's like, well, is your dog going to get rabies between here and the next building up? And I'm like, no, but can I get him back? Well, we're still going to be here. So Patty's going to sit with Truman because we don't want to risk it because he kind of acted. He didn't say it was okay to walk. So I'm going across the border, and hopefully I can get back. I should be able to, I mean, but here we go. Okay, we answered a few questions and we are across, no issues, and he acted like it was silly that we canceled all of our plans. He claims we could have came back, but we'll see. So, all right, bud, we made it. Well, I made it to Canada. Now I'm leaving Canada. That was a quickie. Wish me luck getting across the border. All right, that was a smooth border crossing. I'm picking up Patty and Truman. They're getting in the car. Oops, get out of the way here. And actually coming back was real easy. He just asked why I was in Canada. I explained I dropped Alex off. He asked me if I bought anything while I was visiting. And I said no, and he said, all right, have a good day. So, all right, so Alex is with Ruby. And I must say, Ruby is a very nice young lady. Yeah. I got to meet her, awesome. I wish we could have spent time with her. I invited her to the United States if she ever wants to come. So, 
told her I was really bummed that I wasn't going to get to try some real Canadian poutine and beaver tails. Yeah. <laughs> so. What did she say to that? She laughed. She said Banff is a typical Canadian tourist area. We would have got to try all the. All that stuff. All that stuff. Oh. So. So Alex is now in Canada for the week, and um, I'm going to kind of miss the guy. A little bit. No, yeah. I am going to miss you the guy. Not kind of. I know you get used to having him, and. Yeah. So. Now I guess we're going to drive back down to Glacier and go to the National Park Visitor Center and figure out what we're doing. All right. So, all right, about 20 minutes back. to Glacier National Park, we're on the east side. There's two entrances, and uh, we're actually at the visitor center. We've already went through the gates here. You can see traffic lining up to get in. So the going to the Sun Road is actually only open for about 13 miles. It's closed. They still haven't been able to clear away all the snow from this winter, so you can't actually take it the entire distance across, which we weren't going to because I've seen enough other YouTubers talk about if you don't like heights, you don't want to drive that road all the way. It gets pretty um, hairy. Yeah. And, uh, sheer cliffs and switchbacks and drop offs. And so, those are scary you stuff. No, no. <laughs> I don't like heights. I, I love coming to the mountains. I just don't like being on cliffs or on edges, or at least not where I'm flat. So. All right. But we are going to go drive some of it mm -hmm. around the lake. Yep. So, let's take a drive. at a glacier. I believe they called this Jackson Glacier. Now we can't get straight on because there was no parking up there. But it would kind of be right, if I can get my finger, right around right there. That's where the glacier is. Glad we and got to see we it. drove as far as we could yeah. on the going to Sun Road. It's closed. Yeah. So. Well, and what my kids read when they do their national park projects was that the glaciers might be gone within 10 years because of global warming. So at least we got to see, see the glacier. It. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Pretty neat. It's yeah. gorgeous here. Beautiful. And luckily the rain's held off today. It's clearing a little bit. We'll just pan around. So that's as far as we can go on this side of the park driving that road. Mm -hmm. Which I wasn't even going to drive this road, but I did okay. Yeah, did great. I don't think we got to the hairy part. No, that would be coming past Logan Pass, which was the next yeah. um, visitor center. That's when it would start to get. I think we could have went to Logan's mm -hmm. Pass, and then after that's when it got hairy. Right, but it looked like the sign. There was a lot of bear activity. Yeah. So. And no animals prohibited, and they didn't want anybody driving through there. So. All right, let's start making our way back down. Sleepy guy here. Look at him. Okay, Patty, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm blow drying my socks. Let's see, you got the blow dryer. Yeah. All right. And you got a sock that didn't get dry. <laughs> no, it didn't uh, fully dry in the dryer, so I'm using my blow dryer. Wow. Yeah, Patty's getting creative. Yeah. If we were not on electricity, you could not. No. You could not do that. You I only do when this goes around the KOA, otherwise, I'd be like, have a little dry. Yeah. We made it all of maybe 30 miles, uh -huh. I don't know, or at least not very far. But that's okay, we're just taking our time, decided to have some lunch, 
and who knows where we'll pop up. I don't think we're gonna get very far today, but we're having a nice day, right? Mm -hmm. And there's very nice Truman. out in Truman. Was eating a little food. Truman's having a little food. Right here. There he is. Say hi. Can you say hi, buddy. All right, let's eat.